General Hospital's week of May 13th to 17th sees Brooklyn Courtney preparing for her wedding to Harrison Chase with unexpected visitors and family drama. Meanwhile, Ava Jerome investigates Sonny's medication mystery, Carly and Jason grow wary of Ava, and Jocelyn faces temptation amid a flirty rivalry. Elsewhere, Willow Corintho's involvement with the new Tomorrow Institute sparks speculation of cult connections, raising concerns for her safety. Spoilers for General Hospital's May 13th week, Ava's mystery to be solved, flirtatious rivalry, and burgeoning romance. According to General Hospital teasers for the week of May 13th to 17th, Brooklyn Cordemain will experience a flashback when a few well-known characters reappear in her life. The wedding of Brooklyn and Harrison Chase is quickly approaching, and several significant guests will show up right before the big day. Without her grandparents, Brooklyn couldn't possibly get married, so find Carmine and Gloria Cherulo and make plans to travel to Port Charles for the wedding. Some interesting guests should be arriving for the wedding, these guests include Gio and cousin Patty. As they get ready to start the wedding, Brooklyn will have assistance from Lois Cherulo in setting up the welcome wagon. Regretfully, Gregory Chase's health may worsen around the wedding, but he might attempt to conceal how bad it is in order to keep the festivities enjoyable. Unfortunately, this wedding celebration will be followed by a devastating loss in Port Charles, thus Gregory could not live to see the end of the ceremony. Diane Miller and Alexis Davis will continue to collaborate in the meantime as they get ready for Alexis' hearing before the Board of Appeals. Stay tuned for more predictions on Alexis's battle to have her disbarment overturned, as Diane will finally represent her in Albany for the May sweeps. According to other GH spoilers, Nina Reeves will be hoping to restore her relationship with Willow Corinthos. Thanks to Drew Kane, things are already moving in the right direction, so Nina will do her best to maintain Drew's satisfaction with their exchange. Their mistrust of Ava Jerome will intensify now that they are no longer alongside Carly Spencer and Jason Morgan. When Carly spoke with Jason lately, she didn't think Ava had tampered with Sonny Corintho's medication, but may she now be suspicious that Ava isn't telling the truth. In any case, Ava's investigation may bring her to Valentine Cassidine as she endeavors to unravel the truth of Sonny's weakened dosage. If Ava discovers Valentine is undermining Sonny's medication as a pikeman tactic, what will she do? Valentine may eventually persuade Ava to join forces with him since Sonny will focus on courting Natalia Ramirez and will keep upsetting the envious Ava by ignoring her. Keep checking back for updates on how far Jocelyn Jax and Dex Heller will push the competition as it appears that she will have to cope with some temptation in other places after a flirtatious rivalry emerges. According to General Hospital teasers, there will be wedding bells and big news the week of May 13th to 17th. Make CDL your go-to GH resource for smoldering spoilers, forecasts, news, and updates about the whole season. Young and restless, even before Jordan is finished, the show is hinting at the return of another psycho. Everyone in Genoa City, where The Young and the Restless is aired, is breathing a sigh of relief, believing that Jordan is no longer involved. Even though Victor leads everyone to assume that she is as dead as the proverbial doornail, viewers are aware that in actuality, he has her hidden away in a covert bunker. It goes without saying that this scheme will eventually bite him in the ass. Victor could be unaware, though, that while he's protecting his family from one danger, another is just around the corner. However, those who are aware that no soap opera discussion is ever casual may have already realized to what kind of trouble we're talking about. Especially if they watched the Monday, May 6th program and paid attention. Nick and Phyllis were talking about the trauma their daughter Summer had lately suffered at the hands of Jordan when they couldn't help but think back to the day their cherished daughter almost died from a madwoman's kiss. While those who watched in 2009 may remember that Patty Williams, the sister of Paul Williams, purposely ate peanut butter before kissing young Summer on the lips, pushing her into anaphylactic shock, younger viewers may not have understood the discourse. To make matters worse, Patty, who was then passing for Mary Jane, misled everyone into thinking that Phyllis had kissed Summer in an attempt to win Nick back. Summer ended up under the care of her grandparents Victor and Nikki while the incident was being looked into after spending a brief period of time in a coma. It goes without saying that Phyllis and Nick were reminded of those horrible experiences when Jordan attacked Summer's son. But was this just a reminiscence from a chat, or a sign of things to come? Recently, Young and Restless has achieved great success by drawing on its rich history to produce fresh drama. 
Cameron Kirsten supposedly came from the dead to harass Sharon and her family before Jordan arrived to avenge her late sister Eve. Patty is somewhere out there, most likely still in the mental facility where she was last seen, unlike Cameron, who we had spent the previous 20 years thinking was dead. The last person to play the role was Stacy Hayduke, who is presently making trouble on Days of Our Lives as Kristen DiMera. That does not, however, exclude her appearing as a guest star on Young and Restless, since both programs are produced by Sony Pictures Television. Not to mention that a number of other actresses have already portrayed Patty, despite the fact that Hayduk made the character a fan favorite. Heck, the character was first presented in 1980 and went on to become Jack Abbott's much younger bride after being mistreated, which was what first drove her to the brink. How could Patty be brought back? Over the years, Paul's unstable sister got to know the Newman Ranch rather well and even made multiple appearances there while hiding out. Could she end up finding Jordan and creating the most sinister of planned teams? It truly chills to consider the extent of the misery they could inflict upon the Abbott and Newman families. Spoilers for General Hospital, is Willow getting into another cult? Could the new Tomorrow Institute be the next dawn of day? According to General Hospital spoilers, Willow Corinthos has made the decision to accept Drew Kane's offer to serve as a non-profit spokeswoman. Although Willow seems to be a nice fit for Drew, is there a surprise in store for us in this plot? The unusual and perhaps nefarious seeming name of the new Tomorrow Institute is something we can't help but notice. On social media, a lot of people have expressed their opinions about it and said they're feeling like dawn of day. Fans of GH might remember that Shiloh Archer was the leader of the Dawn of Day cult. Thanks to Harmony Miller, Willow was drawn into that cult for a considerable amount of time before managing to leave and start over in Port Charles. But given that the cult Willow left emphasized the start of a new day as well, it seems strange that she is joining a non-profit whose name honors a new tomorrow. Is there a connection of any kind here? If the individuals in charge of this non-profit had connections to Shiloh and intended to carry on his legacy after his passing, that would be interesting. However, it's possible that Willow is the target of retaliation. There are undoubtedly those followers of Shiloh who could hold Willow responsible for everything collapsing on Dawn of Day. It makes sense to put up a fake non-profit with a role as spokeswoman that appears to be suited for Willow if someone wants to set her up for failure. Additionally, it makes sense to con Willow's trusted friend, Drew, into talking to her about the proposal. Willow might discover that things at the New Tomorrow Institute aren't quite as they seem once she becomes entangled in all of this. When Nina begins her study for her Crimson novel, perhaps she will even see the early warning signs of that. That might be an opportunity for Nina and Willow to conduct some research together as mother and daughter. Naturally, Drew would want to be involved in all of that as well, and as they both try to keep Willow safe from any potential threats, their relationship with Nina would deepen. Of course, it's possible that the authors were just drawn to the new Tomorrow Institute's significance and optimism. Even though there won't be any major surprises as a result, it's still worthwhile to take into account the possibility that this non-profit has strange ties. According to General Hospital spoilers, Willow will receive more information about the new Tomorrow Institute as the plot develops. As a result, we'll be providing you with predictions about any shocking developments that may be in the works. Be sure to turn to CDL as your go-to source for amazing General Hospital spoilers, predictions, news, and updates. Kindly subscribe to our channel.